Welcome back to RBG. Welcome back to RBG Gold Rush. We have an excellent run of Outlast for you, run by our very own RBG. Randomize, randomize, take it away. Hello, I am Randomize, RBG Randomize, CEO Randomize, whatever the hell Randomize. I randomize my name on random thing. Oh, okay, I'm done. So I'm going to be running Outlast any percent. Uh, basically, if you blink, the game is done. Uh, I'm going to explain a glitch that's going to happen at the beginning because I have to concentrate a little bit. I am going to clip out of bounds or jump out of bounds actually and land into a checkpoint. Um, all checkpoints are loaded right at the beginning uh, as I start the game. Uh, so I'm going to try to land in a checkpoint, die, it's going to reset me, and I'm actually going to be right at the end of the, uh, the game. So I want to focus on that part when I get there, which is literally right at the beginning. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. It's kind of like void warping in Ocarina of Time. Uh, so timer starts when I move. Uh, if um, our tech is ready, I am ready to go. So we're going to start in five four three two one go so something also you're going to notice is i'm going to be jumping a lot at things um and i'll explain that right after i do this ah didn't get first try okay let's see if i get a saving good all right we got the we got the skip Whew, that was literally the part I was worried about the most. <laughs> um, so you're going to see me jumping a lot at things. So Cole, our main character here, um, his fastest speed is actually when he's jumping. But the problem is, is you get a landing animation that stops him. So we, uh, we tend to try to do it like right at the time we're about to do an animation. Um, like opening a door, climbing up something, I'm stuck on something, I don't know what I'm stuck on there. Um, yeah, so we do it there so that we can take advantage of his max speed. I try to do a couple uh, bunny hops. Oh, I didn't get anything there, that was weird. Um, so bunny hopping in this game is extremely hard. Um, you can get smaller bunny hops. Uh, like I did there just a second ago. Or you can get really big uh, bunny hops, which are like, I think, one frame. So it's extremely hard. Um, so we're watching Chris Walker, the big dude, get beat up by some invisible ghost thing called the uh, Wall Rider or Ghost Rider or something rider. I don't know. I forgot half of the story because I just skipped right through all of it. Uh, so I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to save and quit again one more time. This allows me to reset um, Cole, our main character, into a better position, as well as giving me a couple free bunny hops right at the beginning. I'm going to try to clip through this door, and I messed up. So I try to clip through this door, get through this, uh, but unfortunately, this part, no matter what, even if I clip through this door, we have to listen to this person. Um, Beautiful, beautiful person. Uh, we have to wait for him to say what he has to say. Uh, so in case anyone gets... Um, grossed out by blood, I'm going to turn around and let him talk. Uh, so if we have any donations, this would be a great time. I guess we don't have Kami oh, or... Sorry, oh. I'm here. Oh, I yeah. uh, I was dealing with an issue real quick. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we're still sitting here at this cutscene. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me talk about this amazing uh, charity that we have going right now. We are raising money for RAD or Rise Above the Disorder, which is eliminating the two biggest boundaries for people to get mental health um, welfare, and that is affordability and availability with a donation you can help make mental health care free for everyone and a happier world that's what we all are hoping for just type exclamation point donate in chat or if you really want a sweet shirt type exclamation point merch and buy that awesome midno riding the <clears throat> rbg panther 
Okay, so basically to summarize what's happening is that dude in the wheelchair pretty much explained to me what the heck is going on here. That ghost thing that just popped up to the left of me, he's pretty much telling me like, you gotta kill him. Destroy his life source, kill him, and um, we can live all happily ever after. Uh, so now I'm doing what the scientist told me to do. Um, I'm gonna try to get rid of that wall rider um, by basically my next two objectives is that I have to turn the valve off to stop supply to the tube or capsule thing or whatever the heck this thing is. He's over there on the left. He's back there. Um, so I have to kill that guy because he's the host of that ghosty thing that's chasing us around. Um, so I'm going to end up cutting off his supply. I'm just going to stop the water here over the valve and then pull wires out. And then that will end the wall rider. So we're just going to quickly maneuver a little bit, do some quick camera turning so I can cut corners as tight as possible. Again, doing the jump so that I can get there closer. And if you notice, I'm kind of missing a couple fingers. Yeah, some crazy guy cut off uh, two of my fingers. Um, you know, in that part that I went really flying by. Ooh, that was a good bunny hop, but I fucked into something. Dang it. Um, so yeah, uh, basically a quick summary of what Outlast is. Uh, Cole here, the person we're playing, is a journalist. He finds out from an email that's been sent by someone to check out this insane asylum because they are torturing people and um, doing experiments on them. We get in, uh, um, obviously not the way I did. <laughs> uh, but we get in, we find out how crazy everybody is here, and now it's all about escaping. But some person made it impossible to escape, and now we're in the midst of everything. So we're going to do the Stairmasters here. Every time I do this, I get very tired uh, in my head because I can't imagine running these stairs. And that ghost thing is also chasing us right now, so if I slow down, uh, he would actually kill me. Well, let's be honest, with the uh, the ongoing pandemic, this might be the only exercise some of us have gotten in a while. So I actually got the bad jump there. Um, I wanted to jump a little bit later than I did, uh, but for some reason, my game lost a couple frames there. Never happened before. Marathon Curse at its finest. Uh, and it made me actually jump late, but that's okay. So we're gonna rip these off. There's me missing two of my fingers. Cause some guy cut them off. I guess he was hungry for fingers. I'm gonna jump up here and then do a big jump. Oh, no, nope, nope, Never mind. game said no big jump. Uh, so I just skipped going back through the de uh, decontaminator by climbing up on the railings. You normally can't climb on railings like that, uh, but because of the railing out, like, that was like eld out a little bit, it created some sort of a hitbox that the game thinks is a platform that I can climb up on. Uh, but I can't climb on desks and stuff like that. So I was able to use the railing to get me to jump from railing to railing. Uh, I was supposed to do a big jump that flew me across the room to activate the cutscene of that wall rider, but the uh, game said, now you're running a marathon. Ooh, I've actually never gotten that before. I was able to skip um, a thing where I fall down and Cole puts his hands down on the ground and stagger. Uh, but I was able to skip that little animation, and that's the first time I've ever gotten it, and I've uh, attempted it multiple times. So now, the wall rider is like, no, you're killing my host. So I'm going to kill you. And then all of a sudden he goes, wait a minute, I got one better. I'm going to take over you. Yeah, this, um, this one and that big dude that he killed earlier are like the two that come after you majority of the game and makes this game horrifying and the reason why actually funny story why i picked up running this game i actually speed run uh games that like have levels like il games like Mega Man x mighty number no. nine um and platformers just because i like being able to practice one level at a time uh but for two reasons one i wanted to pick up a game that revolved around a keyboard and mouse just to kind of broaden my horizons. We're going to climb up here also to skip a staggering animation there. Um, and the other reason why is because I used to do Let's Plays on YouTube and uh, 
I tried doing this one, but this game scared the poop out of me. Um, and then I found out that we could do the glitch where I just jumped to the end of the game. So I turned my live stream on one day, figured out how to do it, jumped down and went, all right, everyone can stop bugging me. I've completed the game. And uh, <laughs> I got yelled at back saying that doesn't count. Oh, time is coming up, by the way. Uh, time comes up when I lose uh, control of coal. So time. That's it. That was definitely a blink and you miss it. That was 100% blink and you miss it. I'm actually also 13 seconds behind my PB. That's how quick this game is. And my PB is like 40 seconds, um, 40 seconds away from the world record, which is not good for this category. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be run on the, on the Super Bowl halftime show and they'd still have room for the halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> I could probably run this like two times and the halftime show is still going. So if you listen real close, there's a lot of shooting going on. Um, I got killed because I became the host of the Wall Rider. And there's a lot of noise, a lot of screaming. And credits. Great game. Honestly, recommend picking up this game. Um, very... The, the tricks are hard, but they're uh, they're hard to complete quickly, but they're not hard to do, if that makes sense. Uh, any percent is, uh, if you're looking for a new game to run, there's literally um, tutorials on every trick that I've done in this. Uh, the community is really cool. I'm not really part of the Outlast community, but they're really cool people. They, I've had community members actually jump into my stream and say hi and give me tips on how to run this game. Um, but there's plenty of tutorials on here. Totally recommend picking it up. Uh, a lot of categories for this. I'm looking to revisit uh, all chapters uh, percent, which obviously means I'll be playing the game a little bit more, but it's extremely hard with the amount of glitches in this game. Uh, but highly recommend it. And uh, thanks for letting me run. This was fun. That was a that was an awesome run. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for showing that off. Of course, we've got a we've got Ori run coming up next by uh, Kiriru, so be sure to stick around for that. Um, that probably won't be as fast as this run, <laughs> but it will be definitely as entertaining and exciting. So please stick around for that, and we will be right back as soon as we have that ready for you. <laughs> 